first time at the lobby, so I was not expecting this. I am loving it. <laughs> um, so I am honored to be here presenting the 2018 Lovey Creator for Change Awards to someone whose work on YouTube I both admire and support, Alex Bertie. Through his YouTube channel, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Through his YouTube channel, The Real Alex Berti, Alex shares his experiences in transitioning from female to male with remarkable openness, honesty, and just purely discussing everything from hormone treatments to mental health and helping people across the internet feel less alone. And I think he's incredible. At a time when voices of intolerance are on the rise online, the world needs more people like Alex, and we need more Alex Berties. More people who are brave, open, authentic people who pair their experience with the power of social video to bring important conversations to the public sphere. The lovey sat down with Alex to learn more about his work. So let's take a look. What's up guys? So I'm Alex, 18 years old. I'm British, I live in England. I'm actually at college studying to be a graphic designer. My favorite color is blue. I collect retro games consoles. I love pugs. I'm transgender. Does that change anything? It was exciting publishing my first video as being trans because suddenly people were seeing me for who I was. But at the same time, it was quite scary because from that moment on, if I was gonna you know, start a new job somewhere, people would always be able to trace that back and know and find out that I was trans. People often mistake me for a guy. On my YouTube channel, I have, over the last probably eight years, documented my transition from female to male. Tuesday, 19th of April 2016, before my voice was so much softer, I'm pretty sure you could notice the drop at about two months. I don't think it's got that much deeper. It has changed tremendously. Transitioning is quite a physical thing, so video makes for like the perfect avenue of documenting that. And I initially started out because I was looking for support for myself, and it just so happens that other people kind of learnt from what I was saying. I'm trying really hard not to be sad for the internet. It kind of makes me sad in a way because you can see that I was hurting, but because I am who I'm supposed to be now, it's nice seeing the journey and nice seeing how I evolved. And it means I'll always be grateful for the treatment that I've got. The most surprising thing for me being on YouTube is to see how much I've grown as a person because I've gained so much confidence of being online and now I can actually talk to people and I want to go out and it's just, yeah, it's great. Okay, that's it. I think I'm done. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Love to all.